What is up? I'm Marcel and welcome back to The Modern Filmmaker. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, we're going over the fastest way to color grade your entire timeline or just to color grade a sequence of shots within a timeline. Sometimes you may finish an edit and you may need a quick color before you send it off to a client for review. Or you may start an edit and you wanna have a baked in look so you don't have to look at flat footage while you're editing. But we're going over solutions for all this in this video, so let's get into it. So I'm just gonna jump right in because this is actually pretty simple. I've already got a project pulled up uh, with a live music video that we recently shot, and this is all Blackmagic Raw. Uh, this is a mix between the Blackmagic Ursa Mini G2, the Ursa 12K, and a bunch of 6Ks. Uh, so we've got a well-rounded group of cameras used here, and you can kind of see that because this is before the 6Ks got the Gen 5 color science. So these shots look a good bit different. Let's just say that. So one thing I did to start with a good color base was in the color management tools. And this is a technique that works really good with raw footage in particular. Uh, if you come up here to file and then come down to project settings, under color management, the default setting is DaVinci YRGB and then Rec. 709 uh, Timeline Color Space. Now in the color science, if you come up here in this drop down menu and go to DaVinci YRGB Color Managed, uh, now DaVinci knows if you're using raw files from a red or an Ari or a black magic, it knows what kind of files you're working with. It reads the metadata, it'll take that in and convert it to either an SDR 709 or in this drop down menu, you can choose HDR depending on what you want your output to be. I'm just gonna go with SDR for now and then the output uh, color space, I'll go with SDR, Rec. 709. And then the second I press save, it's already colored the shots slightly. My temperature is still off and there's still corrections that need to be made. But for the most part, all these shots look like they're at least colored a little bit and at least like they're colored the same. At the very least, they're converted from that raw log to Rec. 709. So what if you're not using raw and you still need to color grade your whole timeline at once? So if I come back up here to project settings, I can go back to our original settings, which will get us back to our original flat look. And then drop this down. And what you can use is an adjustment layer. Under effects, under adjustment clip, if you'll drag this down onto video two, then you can drag this out to cover the entire timeline. And then if I come over to the color tab, I can go under clips. Let me get this gallery out of here. And under adjustment clip, and with the adjustment clip, you can apply the node that you would like to use for your project that will cover your entire timeline. So if a DP or director sent you a LUT that you need to use when you're editing or when you're coloring or something to reference to, you can actually add that to your whole timeline with an adjustment clip right here. Just by clicking the adjustment clip and then under this first node, right clicking and then add uh, LUT. And I'm gonna go to my Blackmagic Gen 5 film to extended video, boom. Now, if I go back to my timeline, this whole timeline is colored once again. Okay, so there's one more way that you can color grade a bunch of clips at once. And there may be other ways. If there are, please leave them in the, the comment section down below. Uh, this is just one more way that I know of and that I use all the time. So let's say I'm on uh, a good shot here and I want to add some color. So let's say I'll just choose a shot here and I add a node. I'll add one node and then I'll add this LUT to that node, black magic, come down to Gen 5 film to extend a video. And let's say I've made a bunch of other changes. Let's say you take one shot with that one clip. You can go through to your other clips and hold down control and you can actually select your other clips. Just select them all with control held down. This is not the, the most ideal way, which is why it's last, but this is a good trick uh, because more than likely you'll use this trick more than the others. I use this one all the time in almost every modern filmmaker video. Anyway, I don't need to select all these clips, but if I come back here to the clip that we originally colored and I press in on my mouse wheel, boom, I can apply the grade to those clips. Or another thing I could do uh, is I could have right clicked this clip and clicked apply grade or I could have clicked a pinned grade. The only difference is apply grade, it would have applied the exact grade with a pinned grade. It would have applied uh, the current grade to this clip past the original node that was in all the other clips. 
Hope that makes sense. So I hope you guys like this one. I know it was a simple one and I know it was pretty quick, but these are invaluable tips to know as an editor or a colorist. So make sure to go down there and click that like button just because this is valuable information. And you know, if you didn't think it was valuable information, maybe just click the like button anyway. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. And feel free to subscribe if you like videos on DaVinci Resolve. And as always, I'm Marcel, and this has been The Modern Filmmaker. I'll see you all next time. Peace.